Governor of Central. Thank you, Mr. Assistant Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to speak. My question without notice is directed to the Minister for Education. Mr. Assistant Speaker, the Sacred Heart Teachers College, just outside here of Port Mosby near Marinville, a secondary school, was established in 2010 with the objective to address the remote schools within Central Province in terms of teachers. It has a three-year program and the graduates from that school have been uh, doing an excellent job after their graduation, serving the people of the most remote areas of Central Province. Mr. Assistant Speaker, in 2018, a Ford uh, facility was also established at the Sacred Heart Teachers College uh, to assist uh, intakes who may have uh, had GPAs that probably were lower. So they gave an opportunity for those uh, teachers, trainee teachers, to upgrade as well as get a teacher certificate. Mr. Assistant Speaker, in 2021, a secular went out from the Education Department uh, re instructing that the student intakes would have GPA no less than 2.4. Uh, Mr. Assistant Speaker, because the college uh, program is three-year program, it means that the students intakes from 2019 uh, onwards were affected. 2019, 20, and 21. This is not to say that they were not upgrading their marks, though, because the Ford Center was already established in 2018. This was done concurrently, the upgrading of their marks, the grades. Uh, Mr. Speaker, however, the graduates from 2021 who were intakes from 2019 have been affected by their certificates being withheld. So upon graduation, they were not given their certificates. This means that teachers who are out there who are teaching in the most remote, difficult areas have not been paid for almost two to three years and have uh, delivered the services. So I want to ask the Minister for Education whether he is aware of the situation and what are they doing about resolving this situation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Minister for Education. Thank you, Mr. Ashton Speaker. And I thank the good Governor for Central Province and congratulations on your election. Uh, teachers who have been uh, in various teachers' colleges throughout our country, including your teachers' college, Sacred Heart, are affected by uh, certain issues regarding the certification and the, the process of awarding their certificates before they're teaching. And teachers must be qualified to teach in classrooms. They must get the right kind of education and they must be certified by the Department of Education through the Teaching Service Commission to practice as a teacher in the classroom. Now, there are two reasons affecting those teachers who are now, who are now waiting to be registered and who are now waiting to be paid. Number one, now some of those teachers, they forge the certificates from their brothers and sisters and from other people, and the department detected this through our system. And we advised those concerned teachers to rectify themselves and prove to the Teaching Service Commission before they are registered. And Teaching Service Commission and the department is in the process to rectify all those. And I've already given instruction to Teaching Service Commission and the Department of Education to get those things things sorted out administratively and get those teachers registered and must be paid. Teachers cannot be paid until they are registered. And the 
Upon registration, num uh, registration, they are given file numbers. They are paid according to their file numbers. And that process is still pending. Our Teaching Service Commission has been given instructions, and no, no teacher must be left behind. All teachers must be visited and assisted and must be paid. I take this time also to advise all the provincial education authorities, the appointing authorities, the PEBs, and masters, and teachers of various institutions, those students, teachers who are now out in the field waiting to be registered, must be visited, assisted, and registered, and the salaries must be paid. And I apologize to all our teachers who are serving tirelessly out there in the remote and in towns and cities and districts. And the part of that blame must be to their teachers themselves. And on the same note, once you are in the field, the teachers are supposed to fill in the form called RODSS form, Resumption of Duty Forms. And that must be signed. You must put the correct registered number of schools you must put your file numbers. You must sign, your teacher, teacher must sign, appointing authority must sign, the chairman of PEB must sign in order to, for our Alaska system and the salaries to take you on board. Many teachers are also out of payroll because those forms are not completely re restored. So to answer your question, Governor, we are in the process now. Our Teaching Service Commission is working Add now to get those teachers uh, uh, sorted out once and for all. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Speaker.